מה זה אומר? סוף הדבר. is not really something that we're gonna go off of it's just something to, to see the progress that's made I'm not gonna base really uh, my results or my happiness or satisfaction with this off of the skill it's just all gonna be with the mirror numbers don't really mean that much if it's just like a month-long thing where I'm just focusing on shredding up a few pounds and whatnot so not a big deal so this is my body right now is after about six weeks of a little bulk type of thing. I'm not flexing at all. Not too bad. Not really unhappy with it, but it's not something I want to stay at. Definitely not. See my legs. That's what they're at now. First thing I'm going to do before I shower, before I do anything else, I'm going to go eat some breakfast, get the first meal in for the day. If I can get past this guy first. Six eggs, then we got one piece of butter toast that'll be going in pretty soon after these, these uh, get cooked up a little more. And just to hit my macros, six eggs, one piece of toast. So after breakfast, after I get everything cleaned up, put away, come back into my room and take some of the subs for the day. And I'm not really somebody big on supplements. I don't take protein powders, I don't take creatine, I don't take really any pre-workouts or any, any powders of any sort. Because I just learned that it's a lot cheaper just to use egg whites and Gatorade for post-workout shakes. It saves a lot of money and honestly does not taste bad at all. And it works just as good. So what I take first off is a multivitamin. Multivitamins are just there to uh, fill in nutritional gaps that your body's going to have throughout the day. Because no matter how healthy of a diet that you eat, your body's still not going to get everything that it needs. So... That's not going to give you everything you need either, but it's just to fill anything that your body might need, just to get you as, as healthy and fill up as much of your body's needs as possible. Next thing I take is a vitamin D3 supplement, and D3 is important because it's a certain, uh, certain supplement that is different than vitamin D. I'm not sure what the differences are at the moment, I'll look that up probably, and a 5,000 are you that's the important part your body needs a lot of vitamin D especially where I live now because it's winter and the sun's not really coming out that much so vitamin D3 it's important just because uh, it uh, <clears throat> actually plays a huge role on your hormone system and uh, producing testosterone and GH and all the things that are gonna help your metabolism and also help you build muscle for any girls following this, it's not going to make you look like a man. It's just going to help you get to whatever maximum amount of testosterone your body can produce. Also, vitamin D actually helps with a certain uh, nerve degenerative disease. I forget what the name of it is, but it just makes it so that way your nerves are not working anymore. That's what the disease does. And uh, this kind of plays as like a counterattack to that. It keeps it from happening in the future. Probably, maybe not totally. I don't know for sure. I'll have to tell you guys in about 60 years. But it definitely helps with the research has shown. So next thing I take is fish oil. Fish oil, you gotta get like at least 300 milligrams of omega-3. There's a certain amount of uh, fatty acids that they have in here. If this camera will focus. And it's not working out. But basically, 
It's called EPA and DHA. For fish oil, like, for me I found like uh, six grams a day is just fine. So for this, it's uh, one gram per soft gel, so I take like six. And it's just because research has shown that that's about what your body will reap the most benefits from. And fish oil is just basically like another multivitamin. It, uh, it encourages and it helps with eye health, skin health, hair health, uh, hormonal health, and just it's basically like another multivitamin. It's really, really good. It also helps with uh, cardiovascular disease because uh, fish oil and omega-3 fatty acids. Sorry, I'm getting really scientific on you guys right here. Fish oil, uh, it actually helps with uh, thinning out the blood, uh, which helps prevent a lot of uh, high blood pressure and clogging in the arteries and cardiovascular disease, like I just said, which is why uh, in the Asian, Asian countries on the east side of the world, they don't really get heart disease because there's so much seafood in their diet. You compare it to over here in America, we eat a lot of uh, fatty foods like burgers, fries, a lot of fried stuff. So that's why cardiovascular disease is actually the number one disease in America that's killing people. So fish oil is something that can counteract that. It's another multivitamin as well. That's another good reason why to take it. And also another thing I take is calcium. Calcium has got D3 in there, but whatever. The D3 just helps your body absorb it better, which is what my doctor says. I don't know if it's true or not, but we'll go with it. She's a doctor, so. Uh, try to get at least 1,000 milligrams to 1,200 milligrams a day, which is like either 1.1 gram to 1.2 grams. They're the same amount. Don't worry about the terminology or the units. And the calcium... I take because, uh, according to my doctor, again, uh, my generation, millennials, we're supposed to have, uh, we're projected to have the most cases of osteoporosis, which is a disease where your body's taking calcium from your bones and using it to fill uh, <clears throat> other needs of the body. So basically, your bones are getting weaker because you're not giving your body enough calcium. Because your body can survive without moving around, it just needs to survive. So, <clears throat> it'll do that if you don't get enough calcium in your diet, which on this uh, program, I usually do get enough calcium just because I eat like cheese, I drink milk sometimes, uh, and almond milk and whatnot, but for this program, I'm not going to be doing that as much at all, really, because I'm not getting a lot of fat sources. I'm just going to be be, de be depending on uh, the fat sources that come from my, from my meats and also my fish oil, and... Uh, so, <clears throat> calcium is something that I add in, just to make sure I hit that uh, 1,000 to 1,200 milligram a day um, amount that I need. And uh, also, calcium plays a role on uh, uh, muscle activation and muscle activity. And it's kind of hard to explain. So, if you want to look up what's called the uh, sarcoplasmic reticulum, learn about how muscles work and what activates them and whatnot you guys can go look up on those if you want me to do a video on it i'll probably do that in the future but if i do that now it'll get really boring so the last supplement i take <coughs> sorry cough is vitamin c try to get like a thousand milligrams or one gram a day just to help me get more vitamin c especially because i'm not going to be <coughs> uh, eating a whole lot of fruits in this diet in the last couple of weeks of it, really. And uh, vitamin C, I don't know why people say like it doesn't actually help your immune system. Oh, it actually doesn't help people a lot or whatever. But uh, in my experience taking it here in college, I rarely ever get sick. If I feel something come around, I'll take like three, four packets of uh, emergency a day. So it's like three or four uh, grams or three or 4,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day. People say, oh, it doesn't make any difference. Well. In my experience, it does, because everybody else is getting sick. I'm not. Of course, nutrition plays a role in that as well, but, I mean, only so much. I take that, it goes away within a couple of days. I'm just going to show you guys right now. Uh, I already packed up all my meals. Prince, stop it! Darn cat. Anyways. Uh, I already packed up all my meals, made them all up, ready for, I packed uh, three meals. 
<laughs> but it lasts me until like maybe mm, eight o'clock, seven or eight o'clock. Just depends on how quickly I eat them. So what I'd have is I have a little, uh, I have a little Eddie Bauer bag that uh, keeps the food cool. It's like a little cooling bag. It's got insulator in there or whatever it's called, had it to keep it cool inside. So what I do is I pack them all up, make containers like this, Tupperware. Tupperware is really, really important if you're trying to you know, live a healthy lifestyle. You got to pack your meals because you can't depend on fast food or college dorm food or whatever you're going through. So stack them all in here. I put them, put these ice, ice containers in there. They have a little gelatin inside that freezes and stays cool forever. So I pack like four in here, stack them all up, make sure it keeps the food cold, and then zip it up. Can't do it without hand, so much later. But so uh, I'll take this, I'll put it in my the trunk of my car, and uh, I'll take just one meal or two meals with me because food it can last. Anytime uh, you take it out of a cold container, it can last anywhere between four and six hours, and it'll still be good. You can still eat it. Um, and I mean, they have microwaves on campus too that I, I can I can get to, and I can just heat up, have it be warm for a while, keep it in the a safe zone to eat. That's how I manage the meals. I stay on track with them. So I'll, I'll put this back in my in the truck of my car. Anytime I need a meal, I'll go back to it and get it, and go back to class. So that's how I do it. It's the fifth meal of the day. It's about uh, at 8.32, something like that. So, I had a pretty good schedule. And uh, I can't keep my eyes open right now. I've literally been studying all day long. I have two exams. <laughs> Everyone's watching me. Two exams and a lab report due this week. So, I have no free time the next three days. All right, guys. First workout of the program is going to be back. And we're going to start it off with about shoulder width apart for grip on cable rows. You're going to be doing about five sets of 15 on this. Remember, you see that my chest is coming up. I'm sticking it out because I'm flexing my back when I'm bringing the weight towards me. And then I'm squeezing it. Try and get a good squeeze. You're not going to be building muscle on this program, but you're trying to get a pump each workout. And for cardio acceleration, we did kind of like a variation of running in place and knee step ups. You don't see it, but my feet are landing on the bench. And this is going to last for the entire minute. Next exercise is going to be straight arm rope lat pull downs. Again, you're going to be doing five sets of 15 reps. And the main thing on this is to make sure your arms stay straight, otherwise your triceps are going to come into this movement. And at the bottom of the rep, you want to squeeze. The whole time through, you want to be pulling with your lats. You're going to get a good squeeze at the bottom, and you're going to let it go up. The whole time through, you're thinking of pulling your elbows close to your hips all the way through. Five sets of 15. And for the cardio acceleration, we did mountain climbers. You're going to do a minute on these. If you have to stop, stop only enough time for you to take quick two, two quick breaths and get right back into it. Trying to keep your heart rate up, keep your metabolism going. Last exercise is going to be, again, cable rows. And it's going to be even closer grip. But it's going to be a different variation. This is something that I got from watching somebody on Instagram. His name is Paul Huh. And it's kind of like a lap movement, but instead you're kind of leaning into your toes and pulling the weight towards your hips. Your upper body is making about a 45 degree angle and you're squeezing it at the bottom. Really it's kind of like the midway between a lat pull down, straight arm lat pull down and a cable row. Get a good squeeze, you're gonna be doing three sets of 16. And lastly for cardio acceleration, we are going to be doing just bodyweight squats for one minute, make the intensity high, not so high that you start burning in your legs. You're probably going to feel a burn, but stop, take two breaths, get right back into it. First workout is done. Good job, guys.
just ate my last meal, I'm about to hit the sack. That that workout was absolute hell. Really. I mean just the a mixture of uh, four hours of sleep and uh, uh, caloric deficit, eating a lot less calories than I usually do, and uh, uh, studying all day. Just my brain was done before I even started. Uh, heart rate went through the roof in the first couple of sets, and I just I felt drained. I felt like passing out. I felt like I was already at that stage where you're burning fat and. Uh, <clears throat> for the energy, but I know I wasn't, it was just, my body felt done, so, uh, I happened to keep my voice down, because my roommate's asleep, and his door's open, so, uh, but yeah, that's it, I'm packaging for the night, it's almost 1am, gotta wake up at 8am tomorrow, so, sorry I couldn't get more video of the workout, uh, just otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to focus as much as I could, and it's really hard to find a spot quickly to set up my phone to get a good angle so you can see what I'm doing. Tomorrow's a new day, new day, Tuesday, so let's get it going. Not y'all.